Hello everyone, my name is Paul Stamayoi, and we're back for another edition of Paul Stamayoi's personal best opinion on Pokemon. And this edition is going to be about Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree, whole Caterpie evolution line. So anyway, let's get right into it. Let's start off with the moves for Caterpie. For gold, silver, crystal, ruby, sapphire, emerald, diamond, pearl, platinum, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. We got Tackle, which you already know about that for the uh, previous ones, but I'll just explain it again. So Tackle is, well, it depends on which uh, generation you're in. For generations 2, two and 3, I'm pretty sure it's 35 power, 95 accuracy. Um, for 4th generation... I'm pretty sure it is 40 power, 100 accuracy. Uh, let me think what else. I know in one of the generations it's 50 power, 100 accuracy. Uh, but it's always a normal type uh, physical move. And it doesn't have any, any special effect. It's pretty much the basic move of uh, Pokemon. So anyways, then String Shot. String Shot is a... Status move, 100 accuracy, bug type move. Um, this one's different in generation, uh, different generations as well. In the first generations, um, like I would say two and three, maybe even four as well, they all uh, raise the opponent's speed by one. And if you're in a double battle, it'll hit both of the Pokemon. But in later generations, it raises, it um, it lowers their speed. Uh, harshly instead of just once. Harshly means like twice. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Now onto the moves for Platinum. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I said Platinum on the per previous move set, sorry, I'm just used to saying that. So anyways, um, on to the next move set for Caterpie. For Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Black, white, black 2, white 2, X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, um, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. Bug Bite. So this one is a, it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good move in general. 60 power, 100 accuracy, physical bug type move. Its effect is, uh, it could be pretty sweet, could be pretty bad as well, because um, pretty much what it does is uh, whatever... Uh, target you're using this on if they have a berry you'll automatically eat it so that can be really bad because the berry could be like something bad for you like some berry give you um, health but also make you confused if you're not the right nature or something else like that so you gotta be careful with that and then it's just the same moves as before in the other generations um, so anyways the held item is for, wait, for gold, silver, and crystal, it's the pink bow just to power up the tackle. Um, same deal with ruby, sapphire, emerald, fire red, and leaf green. Silk scarf, um, just power up the tackle. And then for diamond, pearl, platinum, heart gold, so silver, black, white, black 2, white 2, X, Y, omega, ruby, alpha, sapphire. So for on, offline, Life Orb, online Focus Sash, like usual, for most of my uh, Pokemon so far in the recent ones. Uh, for Pokemon Sun, Moon, and Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, for offline, you would want the Normalium Z to power up the tackle, and then for online, of course, Focus Sash. And then, of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee does not have that. Now for Metapod, um, it's pretty much the same. If you're wondering how, uh, if it's not obvious already, you can keep a Pokemon from evolving. Like, um, you could have Caterpie learn, like, Bug Bite, um, Tackle. Well, it learns Tackle and String Shot before it evolves at level 7 to Metapod, but uh, if you wanted to keep Bug Bite, you can actually prevent, like, Pokemon from evolving. Uh, by usually just by spamming the B button, or if you have an Everstone, you can make them hold it so they won't evolve uh, as long as they're holding that. 
So, um, yeah, you pretty much do that with a Metapod, and you pretty much have the same moves, so it's just a better uh, better version of Caterpie, pretty much, because it's evolved, and yeah, so that'll be the same for that. But anyways, now on to Butterfree. So the moves for Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, got Psybeam, alright, so Psybeam is pretty neat, pretty neat. 65, I'm pretty sure it's 65 power. Um, it's either 60 or 65. I'm 99% I'm sure it's 65 power. But anyway, 65 uh, power, 100 accuracy, psyche type move. I believe it has a 10% chance to confuse, so it's a pretty good move in general. Anyway, Gust. Gust is a 40 power, 100 accuracy, special flying type move. It doesn't have any additional effect. It's just pretty good. Uh, of course, Tackle again. And Stun Spore. This one's pretty sweet. Um, I'll explain this move and then I forgot to explain the abilities for Caterpie and Metabot. I almost completely forgot about that, sorry. Anyway, Stun Spore. Um, it is a status move. It is 75 accuracy, uh, grass type move, and it, its ability is to, uh, paralyze the opponent as long as it lands, of course. Uh, but like I said, even, uh, if, like, like I said, this is a status move, uh, in previous, these previous editions, um, to me personally, I don't care what the accuracy is on the status moves. Um, of course, there's a better status move in a certain um, uh, move that they can learn by leveling up. I'll have that instead. Like if like one has Sing, and then you can just get Spore instead. Then obviously you would want Spore because Spore has more accuracy than Sing. But um, but anyways, yeah, for me it doesn't matter if it's under 90% accuracy. I just go for it because it's a status move. So anyway, yeah, it's pretty good because uh, paralysis. If you don't know, it uh, it lowers the one who's paralyzed their speed by 50%. And sometimes they can't just move; they can't move at all. So it'll say they're paralyzed; they can't move. So it's uh, it can be pretty sweet. It can be pretty good. So anyways, on to the move set for Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. So the one that's different from here is Silver Wind instead of having Tackle. So Silverwind is a pretty good one. It's a 60 power, 100 accuracy, special bug type move. And it has a 10% chance to raise all your stats at once. So it's pretty good. It's pretty neat. If you get that lucky, you get all the stats raised. It's a nice little addition. It's pretty nice. Uh, so anyways, on to... Hold on, let me see where the cursor is. Alright, on to Pokemon Diamond... Oh wait, I'm sorry, hold on, I almost forgot the abilities again. Okay, the ability for Caterpie, that will be, um, Shield Dust. Now, Shield Dust, it pretty much, like, uh, protects you from any additional effects. Like, from, wait, actually, wait, is that right? I, I'm sorry if I get that wrong. It's either it protects you from additional effects, what I mean by additional effects on, like, attacking moves like, uh, if you can get flinched, or you, there's a possibility that you'll get burned, or, um, or, like, confuse, or something like that. That's an additional effect to an attack. So, um, it's either that, or it makes your moves, um, more powerful by removing those effects. But I'm pretty sure it's, like, it, it's called Shield Dust, so I'm assuming that it's protecting you from those additional effects. That's what I'm guessing, but... If not, feel free to look it up. Sorry, I just completely forget what Shield does, does at the moment, unless I was correct. But anyways, uh, Metapod um, only has one ability, and that's Shed Skin. And Shed Skin is pretty neat. It has a chance to uh, get rid of any status effect, except for uh, uh, Sleep, uh, once per turn, if, you, uh, if the Pokemon who has Shed Skin has a status effect on them. So anyways, I forgot to say the other ability for Caterpie. The other ability is, um, I believe, Runaway. And it's pretty bad. It's as it says, Runaway. So it makes it, you instantly be able to run away from battles. So obviously you want Shield Dust instead. Unless you're like trying to do quick encounters like Shiny Hunter or something. I guess that could be something. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty uh, bad ability in general. So anyways, now back to Butterfree's moveset. So yeah, let's move on with that. Now for uh, the moveset for Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, um, X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and Alpha Sapphire. 
So the one that's different from here, instead of um, instead of Gust and Silverwind, we got Bug Buzz. Now Bug Buzz is a very big upgrade. So uh, it does 90, the 90 power, 100 accuracy special type uh, bug move, and it has a 10 chance, 10 percent chance. I don't know what I was trying to say there. 10% chance to lower the uh, opponent's special defense. So since it's a special type move, it's, you know, pretty good because if you get that drop, then it's pretty neat. Now Tailwind. Tailwind is a very good move. It's a very supportive move. Um, it's recommended on pretty much any Pokemon that can learn it, really. Uh, what it does, it's a status move, 100 accuracy, flying type move. And the effect is for, I believe, five turns, your whole party, their speed will be doubled. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good if you want to have your uh, not so fast Pokemon be fast or your faster Pokemon to just be super fast. So it's pretty nice. So anyway, then on to the moves for uh, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. So the one that is different from here, instead of Psy Beam, actually have Air Slash. Now, Air Slash is a pretty good one. I think. Um, oh yeah, and that's right, I, we talked about this on Charizard, but I'll talk about it again just in case you didn't watch those videos. Um, but anyways, Air Slash, 75 power, 95 accuracy, flying special attack. Um, this has a 30% chance to flinch, which, uh, if you don't know what flinching does, pretty much makes them, the opponent, whatever you use it on, not be able to do anything that turn, if you, like, hit them first. And then it says they flinch, so it's pretty good. So just like high power in general. So anyway, then on to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, wait a second. Oh. <laughs> uh, so instead of uh, Tailwind, which Tailwind, which it sucks, it's not in that game. I uh, just add back side. That's pretty much the change. <laughs> So anyway, the held item for uh, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it's the same uh, pink bow. And if you're wondering why uh, I didn't just power up the Gust, which is in the... Um, well, actually, no, no, it, pink bow is correct. So yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh yeah, I should explain what pink bow does still, and Silk Scarf, it raises the... Uh, power by normal time moves by 10%, just in case you didn't watch those other videos. But anyway, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Uh, the reason why I picked Silver Powder is because I would have powered up Gust, but um, you just can't get the uh, Sharp Beak anywhere in, in those games. You have to, like, get, just transfer them over, and you can't get them in Fire Red or Leaf Green either, so um, you can't even get the Silver Powder in Fire Red or Leaf Green, so I just went ahead and do King's Rock. But anyway, Silver power, Powder raises the Power Bug type moves by 10%, so it's pretty good. Anyway, Fire Red and Leaf Green, the King's Rock, it has a 10% chance 